Hey everybody, Tony from Shooting Star SVG back. And today I want to show y'all how you can create a vector brush or pixel brush in Affinity Designer. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep you motivated to continue making these videos. So that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if you haven't already, head on over to the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. And there was a question that came up about how in the world can I can create this glitter confetti effect in Affinity Designer. So I thought brushes would probably be the best way to go. I'm gonna hop over to my computer screen and we will get started. You can see here that I have Affinity Designer open. I'm just gonna go to file new and I'm just going to do a four by four inch artboard at 300 dpi and click on create that is going to get me started here now the most important thing is to make sure that you are in the pixel persona to do that you want to just click on this little tile up here in the top left corner go to your brush which is on the right hand side and you're going to want to go to brushes panel which will be up here in the top right corner and you're just going to want a basic hard brush. You can see what that looks like here. And then just make sure that your color is set to black. And so you can kind of see what this looks like here. And then you're just going to want to kind of click around the canvas itself. Now you can make these bigger or smaller depending on what you're trying to go with. And to do that, you would just change the width up here. I'm going to make this just a smidge bigger so we can get some of these bigger dots in here. And then I'm just going to continue to bring it down from the menu for a little variety and you're just going to click around like that maybe get some of these smaller little guys in here to fill up some of this space and you'll see why i'm doing this in just a minute all right so for the purposes of this i am happy with that we want to make sure that this is a transparent background so to do that i'm just going to go to uh, document setup and i'm going to go into color and i'm going to click on transparent background okay that's gonna make this a transparent background. And then I'm gonna to go to File, Export. I'm gonna export this as a PNG. When I open up a new artboard, okay, I'm just gonna open up my typical 12 by 12 in. I'm gonna to go to Brushes. And again, you wanna make sure that you're in this pixel persona. And I'm gonna click on this little icon here and I'm gonna click on New Intensity Brush. I'm gonna select the brush that we just uh, created. All right, so at the very bottom of this, you will see the brush here. Now, if I was to just draw with this now, first of all, it's gonna be really small, but it's not gonna look like what we want. You wanna double click on this. We're gonna play around with things here. So I'm gonna bring the size up. I'm going to drop the accumulation down. This is where you kinda of wanna just play around with the settings. If you go to rotation, you can rotate it a little bit, but really you wanna focus on the dynamics. So you wanna change the size jitter, the accumulation jitter, the flow jitter you can mess around with. But more importantly, to get that dot look, you want to mess with the scatter of the actual images itself. So to do that, it's going to take a little bit of messing around with these sliders. OK, and then you're going to want to just bring the huge jitter up. This is going to give you uh, a lot of different colors and you can bring the saturation uh, jitter up and that's going to change the saturation. I'm going to bring the huge jitter down, bring this size up. And when I do that, I don't know if you can see this, it's changing the colors of the actual shape itself. So I'm gonna bring the color to like a red color. So it's not gonna be just that red color, you can see the other colors coming in. So the more I bring that up, the more it's gonna change that red color around. Now, if I change the hue color up, it's going to give me all sorts of different colors on that particular brush. So if you're looking for more of like a confetti look, you might very well just want to change the hue and saturation and bring that up. And if you bring the luminosity up, it's going to actually give you lighter and darker colors. OK, so you would be able to take this brush and brush on the top and then just kind of create this falling confetti look. But another thing that you can do with this is you can actually layer a glitter pattern over this. So to do that, you would want to find a glitter pattern and you would simply take this glitter pattern that you choose. This one looks pretty good. And you would insert that into your artboard and then you want to put that in on your design. And of course you want to resize that and then I'm going to make sure that this is applied as a mask. Now this is going to come out in a grayscale, but again, we're going to go to export, fill in pixel persona, all right? We're going to go back to this particular artboard. We're going to go in here and 
have a new intensity brush and we're going to choose the glitter one. We're going to run through the same process that we just ran through the other brush. Now with something like this, you can see that it has more of this glitter effect to it when you're stamping on the board, okay? So now you can see that kind of glitter effect based off of what it is tied into. Now you can change the hue and the saturation jitter again to get this to change colors. You can play around with different textures and techniques for this particular uh, type of brush and really kind of go wild with what you can do. So just a really quick way to create a brush that will help you achieve some of the effects that you're looking to do. And of course, when you go back here, this is a pixel layer on your SVG layer, but it is kind of like a helpful technique to show you how to go through and create a brush. You can play around with the textures, you can play around with the colors. The one thing I will say is all these, all these brushes do save as like that black look and feel. Have any questions about how to create brushes or intensity brushes feel free to drop a comment in the comments box below or head on over to the facebook group and we can chat about it there if you got something else like and subscribe is a big help and i will catch you all in the next video shooting star svg signing out